Now let us discuss about the superficial peroneal nerve. So this is a main nerve of lateral compartment of the leg because it supplies all the lateral compartment muscles that is our peroneus longus and peroneus brevis right. So its origin is from a small terminal branch of common peroneal nerve here in this diagram you can see common peroneal nerve at the site of neck of fibula it will divide into the deep peroneal nerve and the superficial peroneal nerve right. So let us understand its course and relations. Actually the superficial peroneal nerve begin on the lateral side of neck of fibula and especially under the cover of upper fibers of peroneus longus. Here will be the upper fibers of peroneus longus. If you remember the origin of peroneus longus, it is from the head of the fibula and also on the lateral side of the shaft of fibula. So here will be some head of peroneus longus. So along with that muscle here it starts its journey. So in the upper one third of the leg, it descends to the substance of peroneus longus. And in the middle one third, it first descends for a short distance between the peroneus longus and peroneus brevis, reaches the anterior border of peroneus brevis and then descends in a groove between the peroneus brevis and extends the digitorum longus. Actually, you know that the anterior compartment muscles, you have extensor digitorum longus which will go to the digits, right, to the digits. So between, uh, first it is between the peroneus longus, next it is between peroneus longus and peroneus brevis, that is the lateral compartment muscle. So as it is further moving, it is somewhat coming towards the anterior side. As it, as it has come to the anterior compartment, you know anterior compartment muscle, you have the extensor digitorum uh, longus, right? So between the extensor digitorum longus and between the peroneus longus, now it is present, right? So and so next what it does is it reaches the anterior border of peroneus brevis and descends in groove between peroneus brevis and extensor digitorum longus. So as it is coming by to the anterior compartment by passing through peroneus brevis now it is between peroneus brevis and extensor digitorum longus especially under, under the cover of deep fascia so at the junction of upper two thirds of lower one third of leg it pierces the deep fascia to become the superficial and divides into the medial and lateral branch so you can see here here exactly at the he exactly at this junction between the upper two thirds and lower one third of the leg, it pierces deep fascia to become superficial and it divides into the medial and lateral branch. So this is the medial branch and this is the lateral branch of the superficial peroneal lung, right? So after dividing what happens, let us understand. It gives different branches and its distribution we will see in another diagram. So here you can check out the different branches of superficial peroneal nerve. Of course it gives the muscular branches to peroneus longus and brevis. Next it gives the cutaneous branches uh, especially through its terminal branches and it supplies lower one third of lateral side of the leg. So you can see this is the lateral side of the leg. So lower one third of lateral side of leg is supplied by superficial peroneal nerve. right? and also great part of dorsum of foot almost except for territories which are supplied by saphenius and sural you know sural supplies the lateral most part and saphenius of course supplies the great toe side right so except that part this remaining part is supplied by a superficial peroneal nerve and deep peroneal nerve supplies you know this arch between the first web space here so this are supplied by a uh, deep peroneal nerve so the medial branch crosses the ankle so as I said, here you can see the superficial peroneal nerve at the ankle, it divides into the medial branch and the lateral branch, right? So medial branch crosses angle, divides into two dorsal digital nerves, one for the medial side of the big toe. So one supplies the medial side of the big toe and others for the adjoining sides of the second and third toe, for this one for the second and third toe. And next coming to the lateral branch, this is the lateral branch. The lateral branch also divides into two dorsal digital nerves. One for adjoining sides of the third and fourth, you can see the third and fourth. And one for the fifth toe. So this is how the toes, all toes are almost covered by the medial and lateral branches of the superficial peroneal nerve. Now the communicating branches are also present, that is the medial branch communicates with the saphenous and deep peroneal nerves and the lateral branch will uh, communicate with the sural nerve. So this is how our superficial peroneal nerve is supplying all of our dorsum of our foot. So next we will discuss about medial side of leg.